Namaskara. I have packed all my essentials for this spiritual journey. We are leaving behind the urban chaos of Bangalore and heading towards the foothills of the Himalayas. Rishikesh, here we come. It's going to be an exciting journey from the vibrant city of Bangalore to the tangle bank of Ganga's in Rishikesh. We are embarking a soul of adventure filled with yoga, meditation and healing experience. The scenic beauty outside is breathtaking. As we leave the city behind, I can already feel a sense of calm settling in. This journey is not just about reaching a destination. It's about the experiences we will encounter along the way. Welcome to our home for the next few days surrounded by lush greenery and the soothing sound of Ganga. This retreat is the perfect sanctuary for anyone seeking inner peace and rejuvenation. The construction of this place is in European style and it made so much beautiful and natural the light the greenery the countertops kitchen tops everything the aroma and the taste in the evening and settle down in that place In Rishikesh watching the sunset is also a therapy look at the view wow Shubhodaya Checking the greenery and sunrise, waking up for this beautiful scenery is my favorite thing. Starting my day with Nadi Pariksha with the founder of Agna Lavitra Asha Gowda and checking this beautiful house every corner I am just filling my eyes and the camera also filling it everywhere and everything. I'm not lying. This is the place you can sit, chit chat, have a drink, meditate and what not. Look at that view. It's a sunrise day. I experienced in the day one itself the sunrise, the water, the flower, the greenery. Oh my god, a fresh breath. What not here guys? You know you are so beautiful. Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Nadi Pariksha is an ancient Ayurvedic diagnostic technique used to assess an individual's physical, mental, and emotional health. In Nadi Pariksha, a trained Ayurvedic practitioner assesses the health condition of a person by examining the pulse. We started our day with the fruits, sprouts, ragi amli. A healthy breakfast sets the tone for the day, providing essential nutrients and energy to fuel your body and the brain. Thank you. Uh, with my leg. No, 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 no. You better sit. Uh, you also can't ride. Right? No. Okay. You. We will take care. You can ride. You can ride. Auntie, I can. You can take care. Can. 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 Yeah, miss the sessions in the morning mm -hmm. we will be starting by uh, previously we used to start by 6 o'clock now we are giving little consideration mm -hmm. <laughs> we are starting by 7 uh, and i can't feel any even the pillion rider has to carry the pillion rider is not done huh hmm <laughs> Once we are done with the introduction session, we did Ganesha Puja along with Asha Gowda welcomed us with the kumkuma, the traditional ritual. By the way, the weather is really different compared to Bangalore, so I have taken quite few skin essentials. Here are the skin products which I used throughout the journey of my Rishikesh.
After the lunch, we all assembled in yoga class, and uh, our instructor Omkar Ji has explained what is Surya Namaskar, how it is to be done, what is the benefits, everything. There were a lot of doubts. There were so many things to chit chat. So every student were asking so many questions. In some schools, they stretch the hands up, saying that we are going to do that. Okay, let me show you the drill. Take same pada hasta, bend forward. You don't have to go fully as comfortable for you. Right leg back, chin up. Left leg back, flat. Knees, chest, chin on the floor. Cobra pose. Mountain pose. Right foot front. Left foot front. And. Once we are done with the Surya Namaskara class, Umka Ji all took us to the Bhagavad Gita in depth. He has pronounced the shloka so well and also taught us the meaning of the shlokas. This was so useful and I am so, so blessed. Today I am crying, I am in suffering. One day you will come where you will be helpless and there will be thousands like me who will be crying. And we also played some yogic games. The founder of Agna Lavitra, Asha Gowda, also treated us with acupuncture treatment, which was so calm and you know, we slept so well on that day. After the yoga, sitting by the river bank, the sound of nature became our mantra. Rishikesh is not just a place for physical wellness, it's also a hub for spiritual healing. Getting up before the sunrise was a wholesome experience and watching the river Ganga was absolute delight. I enjoyed the space, the time, the place, everything and with the new different faces. I am thoroughly blessed by the God. For the first time in my entire life, sitting beside the river and doing yoga, stretching, meditation, I have no words to explain this. You should experience it. You all know it's already day 2 and I'm welcoming experiencing all the new activities by instructor Rasha Gauda and Omkar Ji. And this is one of the activity which is life enhancement activity where you write what you feel about the uh, incidents, situations and it was quite different. I enjoyed it a lot. Meanwhile, I was explaining English to Canada to my mother so that she can also write what she feels. It was really must for me to understand her better way.
let me show you another place where we did yoga session uh, this is another place where besides the kitchen and a lovely terrace i must tell you know uh, to sit and do the yoga to learn more things okay i can't explain this more <laughs> just experience it we all know what is called meditation but are you know technically about the meditation asha gauda explained it so well and how we if you all have heard about uh, the chinese medicine they call it as a chi energy I don't think I can get over the sunset beside the river and the omkara temples people everything feeling divine for sure um so yeah this is the sari i'm wearing today and uh, feeling good ganga mata sunset and what else <laughs> you can clearly see i couldn't speak much because i was so blank i was deep down into the nature and uh, what not ye to itna bada flower hai mujhe mauka hi nahi mil raha are utna bada nahi chahiye I will be taking you all to the part 2 of Rishikesh. Stay tuned.